the new sutralizes lens which I recently developed for Volk. My name is Eitan Blumenthal from Hadassah Hospital in Jerusalem. The new sutralizes lens provides advantages on both ends of the spectrum. Enhanced visibility in difficult situations as well as smooth sutralizes in routine cases. It has been said that the success of a trabeculectomy is as dependent on post-operative care as it is on intraoperative surgical skill. In order to perform sutralizes, the surgeon will need a sutralizes lens. The laser spot size would be 50 microns, even though in unsteady patients it is possible and even recommended to go up to the 100 micron spot size. The laser energy used is between 100 and 500 milliwatts depending on the visibility of the suture and the spot duration should be 0 0.1 seconds. There are three ocular sutralizes lenses, the Hoskins, Mendelkorn and Rich, and recently Volk has come out with this new lens. This is the Hoskins sutralizes lens, the first to appear on the market. Later came the Mendelkorn and the Rich sutralizes lens. I will now highlight the advantages of the Volk sutralizes lens. The first advantage is magnification. The lens magnifies the suture two to three times, easing sutralizes. The 50 micron spot size will also be seen magnified, promoting a much smoother and more accurate procedure. Magnification is created by the convex front surface of the lens, a surface which is protected from scratches by the middle ring. In this photograph performed through the lens, you can see on the left a line, and in the center the same line magnified through the lens. Visibility is a second advantage. The specially designed tip allows deeper set sutures to be seen with much better clarity to permit sutralizes. For maximum visibility of deeper set sutures, one would need to press firmly with the lens for up to one minute. And what you will see is that the suture gradually becomes more and more noticeable. After successful sutralizes, a gap in the suture appears as can be seen next to the arrow. In this case, you can see that the cut ends of the suture have retracted significantly. While these photographs do not do justice to the view seen through this lens, you should be able to appreciate the Tenno nylon suture knot. This magnification is usually not achieved with the operating microscope nor with the slit lamp. Another advantage has to do with handling of the lens. The familiar ring design allows easy handling and maneuverability. The lens is held and managed much like any other diagnostic lens. Finally, two tips for using the sutralizes lens. The pointed tip provides a very strong compressive force that increases visibility of the suture and also adds to the stabilization of the treated area. This feature provides particular benefit in patients with a thick tenons layer or a subconjunctival hemorrhage. In this specific eye, significant conjunctival hyperemia can be seen. By virtue of compression over the eye, you can see that in the center of the lens, the vessels have bleached. 
On the right, in the same eye, you can note that with stronger compression, the area of bleached vessels becomes much larger. And last, after finalizing the suture lysis, when the suture is already cut, you can press with the lens and you will suddenly and gradually see the conjunctiva inflating around the lens, indicating that fluid is now filtrating out of the eye. Thank you, and good luck in your next suture lysis case.